23 Fahrenheits, won a free car. My boyfriend, 25 millions, and his family seem to think I'll give it to him for free. So I, 23 Fahrenheits, won a brand new compact car and a raffle I entered a few weeks ago at a trade show I was at for work. Which is awesome, but I already have an older car that I really like, and I just finished paying it off, so I can finally pay the cheaper liability-only insurance. My car still has a lot of life on it. It only has about 100k miles, and if I were to choose a brand new car, it would not be the one that I want. I did some research, and after taxes and shipping, I can make about 14 minus 15k from selling the car. That money would be an incredible just start after graduating college. It would more than triple my savings. My boyfriend, 25 milliliters of a little over a year, has been without a car for a few months. He's been struggling a bit financially, so he hasn't gotten a new one yet. But he can walk to the grocery store, he gets a ride to work, and I drive anywhere else. It's worked out fine and I really don't mind. He helps out with gas and driving. For background, he lives with friends. I live with my dad for free, so I'm able to save up money. I definitely see a future with him. But we aren't at the point where we've talked about moving in together yet. But we are very serious. I went to a gathering at his parents' house last night. His whole family has been wonderful and welcoming to me, and everyone congratulated me on winning the car. But everyone, including my boyfriend, seemed to think the logical and obvious step was to either give it to my boyfriend or give him my car and keep the new one. I don't plan to do either of these things. It would be different if we were married or living together and our money was mixed together. But it's not. We aren't at that point in the relationship yet. I don't want to give him what would essentially be $15,000 in cash. It doesn't make any sense. If Elle had won the money instead, there wouldn't be any talk of just giving it all to him. That car and the resulting money should be mine. It's not my responsibility to provide him with a free car, whether it be my $5,000 car that I really like or this brand new one. For the dinner at his family's house, I just stayed quiet because I was so shocked at their assumption and didn't want to rip it away from him in front of his entire extended family. How do I break this to him and his family that this car and the money from it is not in any way his? Update April 14, 2016. Tlar of Original. I just found out I won a new car in a raffle I entered at a work function. I plan to sell the car to make about $14,000, but at my boyfriend's family gathering, everyone seemed to assume I'd give him the car because he doesn't have one. Update. So the day after the family gathering where everyone assumed I'd just let my boyfriend use the car for free I had to drive into the city where I won the car to sign a bunch of paperwork and pay some fees. We both had the day off so I texted my boyfriend and asked if he'd like to come along so we could walk around the city and go out to eat afterwards. He agreed and I picked him up. We hadn't talked about the night before at all. He asked general questions about what it was I had to do today and I explained that and then I explained how the taxes on the car were going to be several thousand dollars but luckily I could cover them with my savings until I got the money for selling the car. And hopefully it would come out to around 14 minus 15 K based on my brother's calculations. He was quiet for a minute and asked, you don't want to keep it. And I said, no, that I was happy with the older, bigger car I currently have. It better suits our needs and I can pay cheaper insurance on it because it's paid off. He said that he didn't realize the taxes would be so much. It was awkward in the car for a moment. And I finally just asked, did your family think they'll give you the car to use? He said his mom told everyone right before I got there that we, meaning BF and L, won the car, and that he'd finally have something to drive. He said that he didn't think Le'd do that, but he assumed Le'd want to keep the new car simply because it was new, and that maybe Le'd let him use my old car if he took over the insurance payments. But then he very quickly said that he did not realize the taxes would be more than a few hundred dollars. I guess his train of thought makes sense, given what he assumed about the cost. He agreed that it made the most sense to sell the new car. Last, if he was going to explain that to his mother, and he said that he would and that she views the two of us like a married couple already because she wants that so badly for him and has been heavily pressuring him to propose to me that I did not know. Neither of us are at a point where we're even remotely ready for that. We're happy with where we are right now. He promised he'd talk to his mom and explain everything to his family and that he wouldn't let any of them think less of me. I was worried about that. So he waited patiently while I dealt with the company running the raffle. It ended up taking over three hours. And then we had a nice time strolling around the city and treated us to a very nice dinner. Tia Da talked to BF the next day. He thought maybe I'd let him use my old car, but it was his mom who told everyone that we won the car and that he'd be using it. He agreed the best choice was to sell it, and we had a nice time out on the town. 